Let's go. Outside the wire. Even in um the year 2036, but it's uh I think that's when the movie's based on. I'm not gonna be that advanced. We're slow as hell when it comes to robots and all that. Sh I wonder why they call the robot Gumps. I wonder if it has anything to do with Forrest Gump. Don't do it, man. He's gonna go. He's gonna shoot that armored truck. Watch. Without permission. Yeah. He definitely killed some friendlies. You killed two Marines. You should be in jail. Damn. Straight to it. All right. So far, so good. So even in the future, uh, those drones are not very accurate. Like they are right now. He's older, but the other guy looks older. So is he a robot? And you'll have to deal. Do you trust me? Yes, sir. He don't even know you. Come on, man, pull it out. What? Those robots are pretty real. Good CGI for now. Remind me of uh, District Nine. And shoot him, watch. But he's a robot, so he'd be all right. Oh, up that gum. Oh, they got that CGI blood. Ah, oh, can't stand it. Oh, fake ass T1000. Yeah, I'm not liking it so far. They had something good going at the beginning, but now we just senseless action. Fucking robot. Oh, so the tables have turned. Okay, now that was good CGI blood. So a murdering robot. Hey, hey. <laughs> he said, don't grow balls now. True serum during an interrogation. Never seen that before. I don't know, that chick doesn't look like she'd be a... Uh, like a resistance leader. I would imagine someone that, that looks like beat up by life and battle and all that. Took everybody that long. Look at that, all these guys. They're just aiming, waiting for him to look at them, and then he shoots and then they die. CGI blood strikes again. Oh, hell no. That looks so damn fake. They got lazy at the end. How could a movie with so much action be so f***ing boring? Did you shoot him in the d***? He shot my balls. Hey Leo! Try this! Oh my god, that was a weak ass line. Strike this! Oh my god, they're doing the Terminator thing. This movie got no shame. He really is a fake ass T-1000. If he says, hasta la vista baby, I'm turning it off. Shoot him in the face. <laughs> oh hell no. The ghetto T-1000. Hasta la motherfucking vista, baby. How about we do it my way? I did it my way. This is Lieutenant. Weapons are hot. Target locked. Blow him to hell. If I were a T-1000 guy, I would jump on that nuke and just ride it like a cowboy. He made it. Great job. He actually made it. All-American hero. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't use uh. Uh, Terminator uh, theme music. Okay, off the, off the top, from 1 to 10, I give this movie a 5. The beginning was pretty good. They had something going. And of course, they had to f*** it up. It's a modern movie. What are you going to do? Modern action movie. 
um, you can't help but to compare it to Robocop and uh, Terminator. And that's exactly what it kind of mimicked a little bit. I know it's hard to write original brand new stuff, but nah, man, they could this could have been so much better. A lot better, but it has that that uh, polished, fake looking Netflix original movie kind of look. I mean, the, the budget's there, but it, it felt rushed. You know what I mean? Like the, uh, the story, the dialogue, CGI, everything. I'm telling you, nowadays they rely so much on those computer graphics that story, dialogue, character, depth, all that is just secondary. It's, if you like action movies, that show you action just for the sake of it and just there's no rhyme or reason behind it then you'll f***ing love this movie now if you care about everything else you probably feel the same way I will but acting wise yeah Anthony Mackie come on man it ain't his fault you know he, he was given this movie to lead the movie and how are you going to say no to that? You don't know what the hell's going to be in once everything's said and done. Yeah, and that harp guy, uh, he just, there's nothing to him, man. He's just a regular Joe. It ain't his fault, man, but nah, he ain't got that it factor, that spark. But maybe that, that was the, the whole point, right? Now, the issue with um, the robot character, Anthony Mackie's character, is that First of all, you got to give that person a background. You know, like like the uh, Robocop. He knew who he was. He had a wife, family. He was struggling with it, with the humanity inside of him. It was like a tug of war. You know, so you feel you kind of feel for him, right? But this guy, there's nothing there. You know what I mean? And with the T one thousand, he was a uh, just cold you know and it was a real machine but he tried to act human he pretended to have a personality this robot here does have a personality it's, it's very human so there's no uh, mystique about him you know what I mean uh, there, there's no you trying to figure him out or everything what, what's his uh, motivation anything just, just nothing there so you either go that direction or you go with like let's say Term the Terminator T-800 or Data from uh, Star Trek where they're very robotic but they want to understand humanity they try you know I don't know maybe I'm wrong maybe y'all dislike the hell out of this video but this is just my opinion you could have yours alright y'all that's it for this video as always, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Make sure to subscribe.